Odyssey Camper here. I just got back from two weeks on the road uh, as part of the Phase 1 project. Phase 1 is where we just show you uh, how quickly you can turn a minivan into uh, a vehicle for camping full-time. Uh, later on, Phase 2 will be the complete build-out. But I just want to show you what it looks like in here when I'm camping and after being out for two weeks. Get an idea where I put everything and how it's done. So first thing, extra pair of boots in the front. I carry a couple extra pairs of hiking boots uh, so you can alternate days. Got my dash weather radio. I'll do a post on that and show you how easy it is to swap out that radio. Anybody can do it. You don't need any special skills. I encourage you if you want to get rid of the factory radio to do that. I like to have a weather band because when you're off in the middle of nowhere and you don't have a cell signal, it's nice to know if there's a big storm coming through, especially in the summer. My trusty Pyrex dish. In there, Pyrex cup. In there, I've got a uh, candle that I use at night for light and heat. Uh, I suggest that if you do that, you put it inside a little dish inside of a Pyrex cup, and that way, there's no way that's going to get out of hand. You don't want your uh, van to catch on fire in the middle of the night. Provides enough heat that really, uh, I was staying warm in like 40 degree weather without any trouble. So I've got my homemade curtains up in the back. I'll do a post on how I did that. Water storage. I already did a post on this for folks that were going through the hurricane at the time down in Florida. Really easy to make your own water storage. Uh, it's very durable and easy to move around. I put the spigots a little high so I can get my Pyrex uh, cup under there. Behind the seat is my 800 watt inverter. It's wired directly to the battery. Well, there's a fuse there, so. Um, small ceramic heater, 180 watts. You can run that for a couple hours easily on the car battery and that, uh, that'll keep you warm uh, if it gets really cold or if you want a little extra heat in the morning while you're making breakfast. Speaking of breakfast, I carry immersion water heaters with me. Carry one and a spare in case one burns out. Coffee, drip through coffee maker. And then most of my food doesn't need refrigeration. I travel with dried dehydrated soups. They're pretty tasty. You can find those uh, eh, just about anywhere, Whole Foods. Uh, pup tarts, those are not good for you, but hey, gotta have your pup tarts. And I also carry small bags of oatmeal with nuts and cranberries with me. All that can be made with hot water and an immersion heater. And it means I don't need to have any refrigeration or worry about ice. Just that Pyrex cup, an inverter, and my water heater. Uh, I've got my window screens, my reflectic sheet down here to cover up the windshield. Alternatively, that can also be used on my Coleman cot uh, for extra warmth. I carry two sleeping bags. One's a summer weight, uh, one's more of a three season. Uh, if need be, you can throw the summer weight on top of the three season. If it gets really cold, you'd be good down to about 20, 15, 20 degrees. You can see my Reflectix panels that I made for the side windows. They do a good job of blocking out the light. They also do a good job of keeping the heat in, uh, which can be a problem when it's a little warm. So in the back, I've got a small fan built in where I can open the vent window and kind of suck some air through. And then this giant Reflectix panel in the middle is for the rear window. I take it down when I'm driving. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier to back up. Got my towel hung up here to air out. Necessity bucket, should you ever need one, uh, it's nice to have, uh, you know, a number two toilet with you. Uh, I've got cat litter in the bottom, toilet paper. Didn't have to use it, hope I never have to use it, but it's there for emergencies. I also carry bleach with me so I can purify water. If you go to the website for uh, Clorox, you'll find a handy table that'll tell you uh, how to fill your five gallon bucket and how much bleach to use to purify the water. If you're unsure of the water source or if you're at a campground where somebody might have hooked up their septic and splashed the water supply, it's good to have that bleach with you. My clothes are stashed under the bed. Got a couple of these small plastic containers. And the food, we already covered that. Extra bags, canteen for hiking. Uh, I also have this battery pack in the back, which I'll do a separate post on. That's super handy for a number of reasons, um, but I'll do a little post on that. And then I carry two rain suits with me. One's a poncho, one's a complete covering one, uh, in case you break down or something and you have to walk a long ways. Uh, I had fairly good weather on this trip, though. Extra five-gallon bucket of water. And this little, uh, yeah, I picked up this little doodad. It's an LED light um, for nighttime in the van, but honestly, it's too bright. I have to throw it under a hat, uh, but I'll put a link up for that, I guess, under the video. 
It's coming around the back side. Carry an extension cord with me. And that's uh, in case I do have access to power, I can uh, unplug the inverter and plug in the power strip to that. Camp chair, hiking poles. I strongly recommend these. Even if you're younger and you don't think you need them, they'll save your knees. You can carry more, you can go a lot further using the hiking poles over une uh, uneven ground, especially if you're uh, climbing a big hill. And then a first aid kit. A friend of ours uh, made this and it's uh, really got everything you need from antibiotics to antibiotic spray, bandages, um, some mace bandages, you know, anything you might need along the way, moleskin, you know, if you get blisters, good to have. Maybe I'll do a separate post on how to put one of those together. And there's my spare five gallon bucket, uh, which I kept filled during the trip, but I just dumped it out because uh, I never actually got to that one. I just used the one in the front. I also carry a win window cleaner. Uh, I carry a can of Invisiglass with me, just so I can do videos out the front window. Uh, using the little mount up there and that's pretty much all I traveled with uh, for two weeks you know what you see is what you get I had a uh, little bit extra food that I've eaten but other than that it looks the way it looked when I left and uh, I didn't miss anything slept great on the cot let's see uh, it was hot one night almost too hot to sleep one night but uh, an extra fan in there would probably help so anyway this is phase one and this is just designed to show you that if you have a small minivan and you want to get out and see some things just throw a cot in the back a couple of simple supplies uh, I think I spent like I don't know $130 all told um, plus gas went out camped on public lands uh, did do one night at a KOA just for Devil's Tower because it was such a great spot but um, I didn't need much you really don't need need much it's funny you sit there thinking about all the things you might need and then you discover that you really only use one or two things over and over again um, I spend most of my time outside hiking and seeing the sights and really only climb into the van when it's pretty much time to go to bed or time to read a book before bed. So, um, you know, it's plenty of space for me. There are bigger cots. You could do this with two people, but I'm going to say, you know, when I was 20, that might have been a great idea. Um, <laughs> at 6'4", 250 pounds, I don't think uh, you know, I'd have to have a pretty small wife and... Uh, She's not keen on camping in a van, so if you're younger, you could get away with it easily. Um, again, as long as you're just sleeping in there and you're spending your time outside, this is all you need. All right, well, I hope this is helpful. I'll put some links in the bottom. Um, this isn't a marketing piece. I'm not an internet marketer. I don't, uh, I'm not trying to make money off you on Amazon. Some of the stuff will be links for eBay or Sears or whatnot, Home Depot. Um, but if I know people like to use Amazon, so if I can find a, a way to do Amazon links on some of it, I will. Um, and hopefully uh, the how-tos on, on the website uh, will uh, show you how to make some of these things and how easy it can be to get out and see what you want to see.